All right, just going to do a quick video showing from the Word of God that the false religion of Judaism, Talmudic Judaism, is completely alien to the laws of Moses. You see, Talmudic Judaism will give lip service to the Holy Torah, but in all reality, they get their dictations and their their laws from the blasphemous, idolatrous Babylonian Talmud. That um, essentially, it's a it's a idolatrous, you know, unholy book of theirs, a set of books that, in many ways, contradicts a lot of the stuff in the in the uh, Torah. And here are just a few examples from the Word of God that are explaining that this false religion of Judaism is completely alien to the laws of Moses. And how one proof of that is just the fact that it denies Jesus Christ. Because if they really were true to the laws of Moses, that wouldn't be the case. They would have accepted Jesus Christ. Sorry, you can probably hear my cat rumming, rummaging around somewhere in the background. But uh, So let's get into the Word of God. So first of all, John chapter 5, verses 45 down to verse 47. It says, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? That right there alone shows that the, uh, the false religion of Judaism is totally alien to the Torah because just the fact that it denies Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ himself confirms, you know, if they really were true to the laws of Moses, if they really believed Moses, they would have accepted Christ. But that isn't the case. So that alone shows that Judaism is a false religion. Uh, John chapter 7, verse 19 down to verse 21. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who, who goeth about to kill thee. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Again, going back to the thing of how, you know, they're you know giving lip service to the law of Moses, but if they were to really keep his law, well, why are they trying to kill Jesus Christ? So my cat's going crazy. That alone is... is more just more confirmation essentially jesus christ is again confirming that judaism is alien to the laws of moses john chapter 8 verse 39 down to verse 44 they answered and said unto him abraham is our father jesus saith unto them if ye were abraham's children ye would do the works of abraham but now ye seek to kill me a man that hath told you the truth which i have heard of god this did not abraham it says ye do the deeds of your father uh, they, sorry, then said they un, said sorry, then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Again, that's, that's a confirmation that also Judaism is alien to what you know is sometimes referred to as the patriarch Abraham. Because, again, if Abraham really was their father, well, again, the fact that they're trying to kill Jesus Christ kind of disproves any kind of claims they would have of being children of Abraham in terms of like spiritually speaking okay continuing on some more verses on this here's the uh, John the, here's John the Baptist confirming that Judaism is alien to uh, the patriarch Abraham it says uh, Matthew chapter 7 sorry Matthew chapter 3 sorry verses 7 to 9 but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism he said unto them O generation of vipers who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruit, meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up, sort to raise up children unto Abraham. See again, they're going around saying you were children of Abraham, and they're getting you know corrected over that, and they're not too fond of that, quite frankly. They they don't like being told that, you know, they like to think they're Abraham's children, but again, the fact that you see this consistent theme of the fact that they're denying Jesus Christ, kind of. Uh, makes a problem for for their claims of being you know of being true to the patriarch Abraham or being true to the laws of Moses showing that Judaism is a, a blasphemous false religion Matthew chapter 15 verse 1 to 9 then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees which were of Jerusalem saying why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders for they wash not their not sorry, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread what he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, 
whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is, it is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your traditions. Ye hypocrites, well did Elias, sorry, Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, These people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. That's pretty much the Talmud described right there. It's doctrines and commandments of men. You know, see, Jesus is saying, you know, like uh, the prophet Isaiah was saying, see, they'll give lip service to God. See, they, they with their mouth profess they believe in God. See, they may say all the right stuff, but in their heart, they're far from him. See, they're, they're uh, traditions of men. You know, like the Talmud, all these other rabbinical traditions that have zero backing in the Holy Torah, or often outright contradict the Holy Torah, like that, that uh, wall they go to in Jerusalem to essentially... It's idol worship. It's a, it's a complete violation of Leviticus 26, verse 1. But you see, their traditions, their rabbinical traditions, are making the commandment of God have none effect. See, Judaism is a false religion, totally alien to the laws of Moses. See, I could refute Judaism and show it's, it's an idolatrous false religion just from using the Old Testament alone. Because while they give lip service to it, in their heart they don't believe it. Because their Talmud, even just a Talmud existing, is already a violation of Scripture. Because, well, it adds to and alters the commandments of God. Uh, talks about in Deuteronomy chapter 4, I think it's Deuteronomy chapter 12, again, also, you know, clearly it says you're not supposed to add to or, you know, change the, the uh, commands of God. So even just the fact that you even have a Talmud shows that they're totally alien to the laws of Moses, because that itself is a violation of it. I could say a whole lot more on that, but pretty much it proves the point that Judaism is a false religion, alien to the laws of Moses, and again, the fact that they deny Jesus Christ alone shows that. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, Goodbye. Thank you.